Hi there, welcome back to my studio. It's been a short while since I've done any decluttering, tidying up, reorganizing, that kind of thing. I've been really busy, we had a couple of nights away and now I want to get back into it. If I'm totally honest, I'm really not in the mood, but I'd set myself this time this afternoon, so I really wanted to get some bits done. So I've kind of toyed with what I was going to do and I've decided to do this area because it should be quick, it's easy to do, and it's an area that I use every day so it would be nice to get sorted. And I keep talking about sorting out the washi tape. The washi tape kind of lives in this area here, so we can go through that today as well and have a tidy up. But I'm just gonna give this kind of like a clean, a tidy, reorganize it, and hopefully make it a bit nicer to work in. On the back windowsill there, I'll show you what I've got. I haven't removed anything for ages, so it's probably really dirty as well. So we're going to just give it a, all a good going over. I hope you enjoy the video today. I'm sorry that you haven't had many of these kind of like organise and declutter videos recently. I'm still on an aid to put my other shelves up and my blind up as well. Um, but he hasn't had chance. But um, I can then get on with those jobs as well. But I hope you enjoy today. So let's have a closer look. This looks out over a window. We are going to be getting a skip in the next couple of weeks. Um, so we can start sorting out as we've still got all the kids old toys out there. There's the bike shed. We want to go through that so it'd be a bit nicer for me to look out. But it's very green, lots of trees, but it does mean it's quite a dark space. But saying that, that also means that my studio is a very cool space to work in as I don't get the direct sunlight, so that's quite nice. But you have probably seen this area before. I organised these some time ago using little label stickers. So I will link that video down before you. I think I'm going to empty that today. Not the actual shelves, but give it all a good wipe over. I know that the shelf is very dirty. I keep um, hotties. They're microwavable hotties. They hold my camera down when I film here. And one of them is split, so we've got like wheat kernel things there so we're going to give those a sort out go through the washi tape sort out all my button jars my ribbon jars I've just got so much rubbish here and we're going to do all through here as well I've just got loads and loads of little containers with bits and pieces so we're just going to make it look cleaner and prettier today I think the first thing I'm going to do is the same thing as I always do when I have a good declutter I'm going to clear it all out pop it out over the way onto the side and just give it a really good clean first. If you like this kind of video and you're also new to my channel, I have recently put together a playlist and this consists of all the videos recently where I've been working on my studio makeover. I've started, I've done my desk area, I've been doing my shelving, I'm slowly going through and I've been painting furniture, I'm reorganizing, I'm decluttering, I'm doing so much work in here at the moment, I'm loving it. It's taken me quite a while because I don't have loads of time so I'm doing it all in small stages like today so if you like that kind of thing the playlist is linked down below you know I said the windowsill needed cleaning it's really really filthy it's so bad and I don't actually think I let the paint dry properly on the windowsill when I painted it goodness knows how long ago because I've unpicked the ribbon that was stuck on it but the keys actually seem to be properly stuck. I can't get them off. Oh, that one's come off. I wonder if I can budge with this. Ah, that does not want to come off. That's so stupid. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But look, it's so dirty. It's horrible. There was a spider up here a minute ago as well. This corner, oh my gosh, there's a moth in there. That is absolutely disgusting. I was just going to get the microfiber cloth, but I think it's too far gone for that. And actually, I think I should remove this as well. I've got this old blind up here, which matches my other one. It's not in such bad condition as the other one, but it doesn't actually, I don't use it. And because my old business was called Funky Fairies, I had fairies everywhere, but this one kind of looks like she's got a noose around her neck um, I might cut her free and just leave her be 
I used to always feel really bad if ever I threw any of my fairies away. It's not even like I was into fairies. I don't know why I even called my business Funky Fairies. Um, but the business did really well for me. And people always remembered my name, Funky Fairies. Always suppliers, post, right. I think we can say goodbye to her. Oh, her wings fell off ages ago. Yeah, I think she's definitely seen better days. Bye-bye, fairy. Wingless fairy. So let's be honest with each other. How often do you actually clean your craft room? I know I don't clean my space as often as I should. I used to clean it daily, come in with the hoover when I'm cleaning the rest of the house, but I really slack lately. And then it's times like this now when I realize how grubby it actually is. So I do need to do it more often. I also wanted to talk about my little drawers here that I'm using. These are like cardboard, reinforced cardboard. I picked these up in Tiger quite some time ago. They're really, really handy. I did mention the video previously that I've linked up below, linked down below. And this is where I keep like paper clips, all the tiny, tiny items, book rings, um, jump rings, anything like that. And I've labeled them all. I find with something like this, it's so important to label. And then I can just see what I've got and it's so much easier to keep tidy as well because everything has a home for you to place things back in. Um, do go and check out that video if you're interested as it's a really good one when it comes to talking about storage as well. Right, I got those keys off. I'm now gonna just put everything back together again. Um, I'm gonna keep the basket here. Um, this has got all the hotties in that I use every time I film. That can go down the end. This was a gift to me by a lovely friend that I met on Instagram. She's a scrapbooker that also likes Disney. And I think she was given this in Japan or something like this. Um, oh, it says Singapore Airport actually. But, um, and she contacted me ages and ages, years ago to see if I wanted it. And she sent it to me, it's so cute. So let's pop that there. And then I also need to clean all my jars. They are really grubby. They just, you know when they have that kind of sticky feel? I think they've all just been sat there for so long. They, actually it's not too bad. I think it's because it's a frosted glass. It just needs a really good dust. But these are all my loose ends of ribbon. You know like if you've got a little bit left on a roll or you get a gift and you have a little bit left. I've used, I think a lot of these were like Poundland jars and I've had these probably in here for about 15 years and I've just always put my scraps in them. I think they look really pretty. They're all colour coordinated so it makes life easy if ever I want one for a project like if I'm making something with cute little tags or if I'm um, wrapping a gift and I want some ribbon to go around it it works out really well plus they look so pretty when they're there on display with all the lovely colours I've also got things like cord you know when you get bits and pieces especially in packaging like if you've got a tablecloth or duvet sometimes you might have a cute bit of um, trimming around it. I keep all the things like that. I've also got this jar here. I've never actually used this. This came from a charity shop. Um, no, it didn't. It came from TK Maxx or HomeSense. A red sticker item for £2. But um, I just picked it up because it was really cute, but I've never actually used it. And then I've also got some smaller jars. I've just noticed this as well. This was in a gift a Christmas gift from my lovely friend Danielle quite some time ago and you know when you think oh I'll use that sometime but I haven't but I'll keep it anyway I've also got all these little jars some of them actually came with the buttons I think these ones years and years ago and then I really liked that idea and I picked up some other little jars these were from Tiger again so many years ago I think they used to sell them like two for a pound so I continued on and did the same and again I just think they look really nice um, on the windowsill 
I don't actually use them that often but they look really pretty but sometimes you need a button don't you but these again are really grubby so I'm going to give them all a good clean I might actually grab a damp cloth for these I think a bridge like this doesn't have to be expensive and it does look really really cute I really like having my things out on display I like I said picked up these in Tiger for just two for a pound but you can also reuse spice jars give them a good wash dry them out and add even like a cute tag on the front a label something like that and they can easily be reused and they don't cost you anything for me visual display is really important I like to be able to see what I've got and also it's a way that I can stay tidy because things are easily accessible for me to quickly put them away so this for me is the perfect storage solution now the other thing is sometimes you can repurpose the storage that you're using. I've got this really sweet jar and it's full of little like fabric topped flat. I don't know what they are actually. Um, I've used them on kits before. I've turned them into clips. But um, what do you call these? They're like buttons but they haven't actually got the holes. And I've got a whole load of them but I don't use them. So I am thinking they, they could come in handy with a project and I kept them on there because they look, I'll just drop some washi tape, really pretty. But I think I might bag them up and actually put them in one of my craft boxes for projects. And I'm thinking popping all my travel themed washi tape in here. I thought that would be really nice because I need to think about how I want to store my washi because at the moment there is no storage at all it just feels a mess there's no system it's just kind of like everywhere and I can't see it properly so I'm thinking maybe my travel washi in here I was just going to get all the washi out so I could see what I have but actually I think I'm going to tidy up this first I don't think there's too much actually I just need to make it just look I've just got a bit too much in here at the moment this is all sort of like for junk journaling yeah that's okay and then I think, yeah, let's get all the washi out and we'll see what we've got. I did give this desk area a really good clean before I emptied it out. And I personally think that when you're having a good sort out, when you're having a declutter and an organize to empty everything out, open onto a clean space where you've got the space to actually go through everything and see what you've got, it's the best way to do it. Empty it out and just go through everything methodically and decide what you want to keep, what you want to get rid of and how you're going to organize everything. No matter what you're doing, that could be clothes, it could be a larder, and in this case, it's in my craft space. So this is my pile of washi. To be honest, it's not that bad. Um, I'm sure most of you have more washi than I do. So let me know how that compares to your washi collection, similar? Do you have less or do you just have loads, loads more? I'm now just trying to work out. I've Before when I originally organized them, they were like in some kind of like color coordinated organization. But I think I would like to, I think I like to stick to the color but keep travel separate. Could have seasons separately as well. I don't know, there's just so many different ways. Um, I have some on some book rings to hang. I've emptied this here as well. So I could even keep maybe my favourites up here, colours along here and then travel in here. I might do that. I'm going to start putting them into piles and see what I come up with. For this storage I'm using little trifle, little dessert dishes. I think they're so, so cute. They're such a handy way to store your craft items because they look really sweet but they're actually open so it's easy to get things out unlike the buttons where you have to physically open a jar. These ones are really, really cheap. I picked these up in Tiger as well. Tiger, if you've got one near you, I know they're not everywhere, but they're such a great place for storage and it varies every season, which is really fun because you can always find something different. The little like ice cream pots, these ones are ceramic and I've also got some plasticky ones like the blue one that's like a really thick acrylic. The really pretty pale green, that's actually from um, a charity shop. I've got um, a couple like that and they're glass and I think they're about 50p each. So check out your charity shops, your thrift shops. It's a really, really good place to pick up old style um, dessert 
dishes and they're really fun and pretty to use saying that I did see some really nice ones in Waitrose the other day and they were three pounds each really beautiful they looked kind of vintage looking so have a look in your grocery stores as well at dessert dishes so this is what I've ended up doing we've got the green ones in here I've just spotted a bluey one let's take that out so we've got green we've got reds yellows and oranges these ones are kind of like greys uh, blacks we've got a bit of brown in there I like the wood effect one and then we've got blues and teals pinks with a little bit of lilac gold these are all my travels I've got airplanes I've got tickets this was sent to me in happy mail I've got the twilight zone I've got some Bambi in there lots of cameras Minnie Mouse um, even some things like the grid I use those on travel albums a lot so those are now all in there and although I said I was going to keep my favorites these to be honest are more like leaves flowers we've got bunting um, I love these trees and I forget to use them so actually these ones are quite generic so we've got birds sunflowers umbrellas loads of bits feathers oh there's Bambi Bambi doesn't belong up there I thought Bambi was in trouble so yeah I'm gonna keep those up there I did take out my stones these are painted stones from our trips I've got my little mini journal there as well so I need to find a new home for these and now I'm just going through the other bits and pieces that were on the desk that seem to be collecting a whole load of stencils here. These don't even belong here. I'm going to put them in my stencil folder. I've now also got a little basket for this came off something. This is a tag so I can pop those in there. I've got a separate basket for those and this is a lot of packaging and things. I do need to go through all this properly but I'm not going to do that today because it's dinner time. But that is now the finished area. This is where I do my journaling when I'm creating for videos. So that is now a really nice space to work with and it feels really clean and I've finally organised my washi tape, which is something I've been meaning to do for ages. And as much as I'm tempted to start reorganising the die cuts and everything down here, I can hear my son in the kitchen. I'm going to make dinner with him instead. But thank you for watching today. I'm really glad that I've done this area now. Again, it's another area I've been putting off, thinking it was going to take hours, and it really didn't take that long after all. And I have actually thrown some washi out, so I'm, you know when it goes. I've got some that just felt a bit grubby. I didn't use it. It was plain. So I have decluttered a little bit, and this area looks much nicer to work in now. So thank you for watching. Let me know how much washi you have and how you organise yours and what kind of washi tape are you drawn to. I really like at the moment the grids, um, these kind of washi tapes. I love anything with travel but I like almost like graph washi tape, that kind of thing. I'm quite drawn to that at the moment. But thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video which will be on Sunday and it's a new vlog. Take care. Bye.